We'll call the regular council meeting of August 1st, 2023 to order. We have no delegations. Moving on to item three, adoption of the agenda. Any additions, deletions? Chris might not be on, depending on what happens here. So, uh, we can just leave his name in the uh, report. Please. I'll move. Okay, stands moving. All in favor? Carried. Moving on to item four, adoption of the minutes. 4.1, July 4th, 2023, council meeting minutes. Any errors? I'll move them. Okay, Joe's moving. All in favor? Carrie. Moving on to 4.2, special meeting of council, July 25th, 2023. Any errors or omissions? Okay, all's moving that. All in favor? Carrie. Moving on to item five, reports. 5.1, the mayor's report. Uh, we had no airport meeting, no emergency management meeting. North Beach Housing had a meeting on July 5th. The uh, minutes are attached. Uh, following our meeting last week with NWP, we might be having a meeting upcoming sometime soon. And we have an FCSS meeting tomorrow morning to deal with some additional funding that they got through the province. On, and we're going to be allocating it. It's only about six or seven thousand dollars. So, any comments or questions? Do I wish to move my report? Stand. Oh. All in favor? Carry. Moving on to five point two, the CAO report. Carol. Okay, thank you. Uh, so for September 26, we'd like to have a committee of the whole meeting uh, to look at draft three-year operating, five-year capital, and then we were uh, uh, advised to do community center two-tiered rates, coming up with some options and stuff there. Uh, Daryl, at the same time as that's the uh, that's 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 convention. That's a UME week. Okay, um, do we want to do it the second week of September? Do we want to try for that? Maybe the 12th. Or the Tuesday? Yeah, do we want to try for that? What's your guys' thoughts? I like to do a around that week. Third week, 19th, work. Council. That's our council meeting. That's right, the council. Yeah. Let's chew on it for a little bit. Uh, I forgot about that too. Uh, okay, so what do we, well, we should be able to do the Economic Development Committee uh, September 20th. Uh, Joint Council was scheduled for that time uh, during the convention. Uh, we're, uh, Robert and I are recommending that it gets moved to September 21. The joint council meeting? How does that work? Okay. It should work. Library meeting. Same time as library? It's usually up through Thursday. Yeah, and then what, where we did have it set was convention, so. Okay, I'll get back to them. <laughs> Actually, if it was the 28th, it would be the day after the convention. No. 27, 28. Gordon, Daryl. Hello. Hello. That's Chris. I just dialed in, so I'm here. Okay. Thanks, Chris. So I'll just be on, I'll be, I'll mute myself until I think I should say something or you guys need me to say something, okay? Sounds good. Okay, upcoming patio series, uh, so there's one tomorrow. Uh, it's hoping to be outside, weather's kind of iffy, so they may be inside the fields building. Um, and then uh, next one's butter chicken, and the one after that is DMI. Uh, music and parks coming up, community days coming up, uh, the big one, Summer Zen Festival. Uh, there's a fall festival being uh, dealt with, and there is a request here later in the meeting for the 15th and 16th of September. Uh, spent a good chunk of the day today dealing with uh, working with the province regarding the fire event. 
Um, so I'll give you a little bit of what's going on right now. So we did, as advised, originally, we did a joint application to the DRP. Today, actually this morning, they're stating, no, yesterday, doesn't matter, that we need to do separate ones. We've already, we've already covered costs, we're do this, so now we have to figure out, and we've been talking with them and talking with the MD, of how we're going to do separate applications and how that works. It gets actually a little more complicated for us, so we're trying to figure that one out. Uh, okay, so we will, I'll work with Gary, so once the river pumps get fired up, take you guys down there, see them in working order. Uh, so that'll be kind of early fall, so then we'll start putting out some proposed dates of when to, to do that here. And then uh, discussion for council right now from the ICF. Uh, ICF is making a recommendation that the town and the MD uh, approach Clear Hills County at an upcoming uh, meeting as a delegation to discuss uh, joint projects and would need a motion of council to um, support that. Comments or questions for our CEO? Uh, the two members of the ICF are here, so they could speak on that more if they wish. Paul or Tim, do you have anything you want to add to that? I don't think to add. If you have any questions, I guess we can try and ask those. Hopefully, uh, you get better response than when our council went up there. <coughs> Approval to go, or what? I think that was it, wasn't it? To attend their meeting? Is that what you're looking So it, this would be like a joint delegation with the MD and yeah. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. We were, we were considering, sorry, I was having a brain lapse. Um, what we would, the ICF had discussed, uh, was the uh, sending it. Yeah. yeah, and I think we want to be looking people in the eyes and yeah. and understanding why. Yeah. So the delegation is going to be you two plus Daryl from the town, or and the uh, and the MD. and then I'm the just the yeah. from the town yeah. here. So. so we would so we would um, set a delegation to one of their meetings, yeah. and it would be individuals from both councils, and then just share. Discussion and decisioning becomes more more regional focus. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, and I don't know if we decided what we'd say if they said they keep saying no. I don't know if that came up yet. Can we go through that? Uh, no. No. So, what are you guys going to make the motion then? Sure, I'll, I'll make a motion that we uh, uh, the IC. Discussion? All in favor? In favor. And that's carried. Okay. Any other comments or thoughts on Daryl's report? Do I want to move it? Well, I, got, I got a few more. Oh, things. oh sorry. Okay. I think okay. you're done. <laughs> Daryl looks puzzled. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think you're done. So, a few more things. Just with uh, the upcoming convention, working on a few meetings with. Uh, so, there's. Arranging the, the meeting with the Minister of Advanced Education. 
Uh, you've seen the meeting with the um, yeah, uh, commanding officer, RCMP, and then we're bringing back. So they, we were given uh, an option to meet with the Minister of Municipal Affairs, and, and they're just requesting what the topics would be. Uh, so being that it's Municipal Affairs, I guess uh, we talked about this before. We weren't sure, too sure at that time. I'm just wondering if Council has any ideas at this point. I can put some recommendations for it and see what you think. Uh, what were your thoughts? And this is to meet with uh, Minister of Municipal Affairs at the convention. Are there any hot topics that we that I want to discuss? What do they do for us? Would you like to ask them? <laughs> Well, managing municipalities and, and all the funding and the models and stuff. Around there. So one of the things is we could say uh, the struggles we're having regarding rural municipalities and sharing with uh, with, uh, with sharing. yeah, and then with you know what their citizens are utilizing. That could be one. Uh, the upcoming uh, new. Uh, LGFF that's replacing uh, the, the current um, capital uh, payment plan, like what's going on there. Uh, they haven't sorted out the model yet. Yeah, let's get some ideas and maybe give them some feedback on that. Uh, and, and I don't know, like with anything, uh, bring up NWP and those relationships and how that all works. So those are three kind of, I mean, advanced education isn't in there, obviously their portfolio but granting uh, municipal, municipal operations, municipal grants, um, those types of activities are within it. So anything dealing with municipalities. How many years ago did we bring up um, lack of cell power coverage? That was last year. Two. It was two, two years, years ago. ago. Yeah, and, they, and we got a response on that. Yeah. Yeah. Did they actually fix that? No, they didn't no, fix no. it. No. In town, we got a new yeah, Ellis Tower, but <coughs> Grimshaw Highway high is still dead, right? Well, no. everywhere in the province is dead, but yeah. we could uh, so we could still bring that up again. We, we did get a direct response on yeah. how it's how good. we can just go and fix that ourselves. Yeah, and our yeah, and all, yeah, all our, yeah. yeah. it's actually a different department that uh, things the, more under. Uh, uh, I don't yeah, know. Actually, it's a young guy, Gebbis. Uh, I talked to him about it at the conference area. He goes, yeah, you give me, well, it's federally that you got to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. So, not, so not I guess, would council like to set up a meeting with municipal affairs with uh, putting a few, a few of those topics in there? I think so. Yeah, yeah. wouldn't okay. Anything else there? No, that is everything. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Any other comments for CEO? Not somebody want to move his report. Okay. Tim, all in favor? Carried. Moving on to 5.3. Oh. Moving on to 5.3. Councillor Amanda. Uh, nothing to report. I had no meeting since our last uh, regular council meeting. I do have an upcoming meeting tomorrow, uh, recre uh, Recreation Advisory Committee. Uh, other than that, nothing to report. And so I will move my lack of report. Okay. All in favor? Carry. Moving on to 5.4. Councillor Fleming. I just attended the medical clinic meeting and uh, the notes are attached for anybody who wants to read it. And other than that, I have nothing more to report. So I move it. Okay. Any comments for Joe? On her meeting minutes. Okay. All in favor? <coughs> Carry. Moving on to 5.5. .5. Councillor Buck. I got nothing new to report here, uh, Mayor McLeod. So I'll move my report. Okay. All in favor? Carry. Moving on to 5.6. Councillor Stan. Uh, I have no meeting reports to give uh, and just the one piece of correspondence that's under uh, under correspondence for the library later. Okay. So I'll move my report. Okay. All in favor? Carry. 
Moving on to 5.7, Councillor Lowey. Chris. Hello. Um, attended a couple of PREDA meetings. I think uh, there might be others that could also report on those. And then uh, uh, other than that, no other meetings. And that would be my report as, as presented. Okay. If the, unless there aren't some questions at this point. And I think, are you talking the two down at NWP? Chris? Let's say that again. Are you talking about the two meetings at NWP? Uh, that is correct. Okay. Any comments for Chris? Okay, all in favor? Carry. Thank you. Moving on to 520. Councillor Schindel. I don't have anything to report. I'm going to let Caroline know I will have to phone in for that, but if I forget, just... Yeah, I can let her know that. I'll be dialing in, yeah. Uh, that's it. I'll move my report. Okay. All in favor? Carrie. Moving on to item six. Unfinished business, 6.1. Ratified council decisions. Number one, road closure change. And are these all going to be separate motions, Carol? Are we going to do one? I, 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 I think we're fine with one motion. Okay. Road closure change on July 12th, and then road closure change on July 19th for the patio series. I'll move to round five. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? In favor. And that's carried. Moving on to 6.2, minimum tax report. Daryl, do you want to speak on this? Uh, the report's before you, if you have any questions. I think I've provided as much information as we have available. So Did we have a chance to review it there? And any thoughts or questions or concerns? The council. Uh, I read through it and I still stand by <coughs> uh, the changes that we've made uh, from 2011. Chris, do you have any comments or Joanne? Are the um, mobile homes, do they receive individual tax assessments? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay. That's my question. Chris, do you have anything to add? Uh, nothing to add at this point other than I'm in alignment with uh, Councillor Schindel. Okay. Thank you. Dan, do you have any? Nothing really to add. I, I still wish there was a way that we could break that up more, but I know the legislation says we can't. So um, I know originally when we, were, when we talked about this, when we talked about the original increases to the minimum tax, it was primarily as a driver to try and force some development of those undeveloped properties. Um, so yeah, failing that, I'm not sure what else we can do. Tim? Um, just refresh my memory. Did we, we had the delegation uh, a meeting or two ago. Uh, did we respond to them already? Yeah, they, they got a copy of this. Oh, this as well. Okay. okay. And then they may be coming to our next meeting to discuss it with us. That answers my so after question. After they had some time to review it and all that. I figured they're likely to review some. Okay. That answers my question. Thank you. Okay. Paul, you got any comments? <coughs> Just uh, no, I, oh, go ahead, Joe. Okay, go ahead, Joe. I just have one more question. So the manufactured homes get their own assessment. I know that there is a fair uh, number of older folks living in there. Do those folks realize they can um, 
appeal that assessment? And would that have any difference on the minimum tax? Uh, it would make no difference to the minimum tax. Okay. All right. Well, good question, though, Joanne. You're, you're thinking. Well, I'm just trying to figure out a, a way that they could maybe get a break, but if they can't get a break through an appeal, then it's kind of a, a waste of their time. And a lot of them would need help filing appeals anyways. All your thoughts? Uh, no, I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm with Tim for the most part. I think it was, you're right, it was for, like this was for development was to cause development. But I also think it was for, I mean, I, I've always thought that, you know, every every low, like $300 a year um, per person should be paying more for that for those amounts of services. Right? That is an abundance of services that are getting paid for. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's where I'm on. That's where I'm at for. Thanks, Paul. I have no further Questions or comments other than what's already been discussed? Okay. This was detailed, Daryl. Good. Yep. Yeah. So someone want to receive this information? Then? I'll move. Tim? Yep. Okay. All in favor? And that's carried. In favor. All right. Moving on in the agenda, item 7, new business, 7.1, the curling rink roof. Uh, so, background. Uh, so okay. So the sh bullet points are the curling rink roof can be replaced without removing the building, uh, and you'll see in there to do the project uh, to meet the current codes because this was built fifty somebody some years ago. To, to replace the roof uh, is extensive uh, change, so therefore the, the building needs to meet the current codes. And the uh, Associate Engineering has now uh, estimated the cost of replacing the roof and then the required rest for the building to meet the current codes, which is heating and ventilation and those types of things. Uh, Karma with Associate Engineering is phoned in, she's available if you have any questions on this regarding uh, where the numbers came from. Again, she has stated in the report that because this is just a draft technical report uh, based on uh, uh, current cost estimates that they're currently seeing with similar type projects, uh, and then until they do a design and then we tender it out, we're not going to really know for sure, but this is uh, uh, a best guess estimate at this point. And I think we can all say it's much larger than we ever would have expected. Tim? Uh, just highlighting, I, I highlighted on the line here, Daryl, uh, you said the walls will support a new roof? Correct. Yeah. Okay, well, it says you're based on the assumptions that outline the existing load-bearing masonry walls. Uh, adequate three existing, oh, three existing interior steel columns supporting the curling bound roof. So there is some wall replacement that needs to be done. Yeah, that's for that the, the mezzanine basically. Yeah. 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 They're saying the mezzanine the needs to be needs to be right shored up. So not yeah. not they're not talking about the brick outside brick walls. Yeah. They're talking about an internal the internal mezzanine. Yeah. Just to, to okay. meet the current code, it needs to be shored up a bit. Yeah. yeah. I got uh, yeah. a little surprised and lightheaded when I read that uh, the walls and wood support. I was surprised. <laughs> and then I literally almost fell over when I saw that. Well, the, the biggest problem with the whole thing is actually you have to bring the building up to code after yeah. 50 years, and, that, and that's it's just a roof replacement. It's actually not that bad, really. It's almost cheaper to build a new one. No, it's not. No. no. Oh, okay. What's the, what's well, the cost of building a new one? Would you be looking? Uh, so, Karma, the current question is: What would your estimate to build a new <laughs> curling rink of that approximate size? 4.5, right? Yeah. Hi, Dick. Hi, Daryl. Yeah, I know. Uh, I heard that question. Um, so the, the number that we have found with a similar sized 
curling rink is in the order of six and a half, seven million dollars. That's half of it, yeah. Well, one of the things you know, you may not have a curling rink. Well, if, if if the roof isn't taken up properly, that's a possibility because the roof and the uh, wall are somewhat tied together in that, and one slippage with the crane could cause. I think right now, I think we need to bring the curling club in and uh, have some discussions with them for sure. On the future, what, what are what are um, does Powell have any thoughts on this? No, no. But there's there's no there's no financial thoughts on this. <laughs> no. I'll say no. I don't. There are. So, uh, I'll say it to you. No, in a Russian accent. Yeah. Can I, we? I, I, understand, huh? I understand these costs are really quite nebulous right now. But why? I, I, I'm wondering, like, why a 50% contingency? These walls don't work. Partly yeah. due to what Gord said. Yeah, I guess. He's building up the code, and if we have a couple of loops, uh, again, this is a draft estimate until you get a, um, a tender. We, we don't know the cost, yeah. right? So, it's like. They're just they're just throwing a ballpark out here at this point. Until you do drawings and then get uh, a tender, we're, we're not going to know. Ballpark. What would be the cost of demolition? The trick. The karma. sorry. Could you repeat that? I so missed karma, the question. So karma. The question is, what what would be the estimate to just demolish the building? For just demolition? Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, bear with me a sec here. I've got to, uh, let me just pull up my spreadsheet here. Joanne, you mentioned the entire building? Well, being not uh, I assume you meant I would think so. Yeah, that's my question. <laughs> if they're going to take the rink down, they're probably going to take the front part down. But for a demolition, what would it be? The, a guesstimate to the cost would be. Yeah, so we're the the early estimate that we had um, was in the order of about four hundred thousand um, dollars. There's a bit of a speculation as well about any hazardous materials. Like the likelihood is that there's some vermiculite in the walls in the insulation that was put in the walls. We assume there's insul zonalite insulation in the walls, and that has some can have some asbestos in it. So there's a bit of a cushion that would be needed for that as well. So yeah, we're probably, um, you know, $500,000 in, in around that ballpark. Which is it would probably be straightforward to, we could call a, a demolition contractor in the area who could probably give a, give a price based on a site visit. Um, we could certainly coordinate that if you'd like. I know there's a house being demolished in town at quote of about thirty thousand. Yeah, small, small house. Yeah. Well, my thoughts would be, you're already close to. Well, four point five mil to repair. And if a, a basic estimate is seven million to build new, I would not spend four point five million rehabbing a building that's fifty years old. That's just my thoughts. I think demo and do a lot of fundraising and then see what we can do elsewise once we get the pool settled. That might be a a step, but I know I'll put you guys without a curling ring, but I still think you're not going to get a curling ring back this year anyways. No, they're, they're well aware that there will be no curling this year in Fairview. We've already had that discussion with them. Are buildings special, like for a curling ring, does it have to be built special for it to... Well, it's got to be able to hold the cold and yeah. the air 
one of the biggest things is air movement inside the building. And then strength of walls and yeah. ceiling trusses, right? Just look at Super A just sitting over there. It's a nice big building. I know. Big enough for a crew, right? A lot less than seven point. Five you jackhammer the whole floor. Up the then you got to put it. You got to put an ice plant in it. Less than seven uh, million. Lost less than yeah. millions. It's something that would probably go by the people who own it. I don't know what caveats on that building didn't indicate curling rink. Well, that's right. Because yeah. they don't sell food. They don't have burgers. You just can't sell IG hamburgers. That's right. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Saying it's, yeah. At least it's got a roof. You know it's there. Yeah. It's a flat roof again. So you want to bring in the curling club? Well, well I think I, I think we should actually bring the curling club in and give them the news because they, they don't know anything about this right now. And get their input on what their thoughts would be. What have we done in the past? We have we brought groups into a regular right oh. No, uh, I, I see this as just an administration uh, and possibly the engineer calling in again. Uh, and then, because what will have to happen is looking at uh, how we manage this cost and what are the options and seeing what the potential is and then how we can move forward. Yeah. Yeah. We can't just put our head in the sand. We have to do, like, we're going to spend a lot of money just to get rid of the building. Yep. Let's start from I like that idea, at least letting them know. Because right now, uh, I've had three questions today about the curling club and that, and I said, well, we're discussing it tonight. And that because and these are the people not even on the board of the curling club. They yeah. want to know what the scoop is and stuff like that. And what do we do this year, potentially next year, and that? And what's the future? Well, you're going to have a lot of uh, citizens Well, it's very much like any of the rent facilities. People don't use the arena. People don't use the pool and that. And so they'll pay for it. Run a deficit, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, but I think, I, I think it's only fair to bring the current club in and yeah. give them the news and what their feeling is on the renovation, replacing, demolition. Sure. That. You want a motion for that? Yes, please. Yeah. information and get thoughts on Okay. All in favor? In favor. Uh, okay, good. Also, uh, are we at a, I think we're at a point where we could maybe communicate this to the public, the larger public. Is it? This was? Yeah, it's already it on Facebook today. Right. Yeah, this is a public document right now. Oh, oh but I haven't seen Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Someone voted. Because as soon as soon as soon as we pu as soon as it's published, it, it's published. The agenda's published. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, well, I know, but it's, it's published. But I'm just, a lot of people will not read that, right? Right. Yeah. And, and I've told. Uh, I actually had a conversation with one of the curling people last week that this was coming, and I gave them the numbers. Yeah. 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 So so it, yeah, it's, it's out just there. It's nice if we can avoid ten thousand questions. On Facebook. Yeah. That was passed. So moving on to the agenda 7.2, request for decision, winter decorative lighting. Oh, can, we, can, we, can we let Karma go? Oh, sure. Sorry. Okay. okay, thank you, Karma. You're very welcome. Thanks for the time. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Okay, now moved on to 7.2, request for decision, winter decorative lighting. Carol, is this yours or is this charity? Uh, well, really, it's council's. It's all before you there. Uh, so what we got there is the background, the budget. Um, they do come with the black background, so we have to deal with uh, So there's the budget. We came up with, uh, so these, so right now, the ones that are on Main Street that we put up, those are eight foots. 
Uh, what we're proposing for the, these are for the avenues. So 101st, no, sorry, 102nd, 103rd, 104th Avenue. We have a total of 18 spots. So like basically a block each way, 18 spots that can be plugged in. So we're looking at a smaller one, a five foot. That's what these are. Uh, and then uh, Charity put together the spreadsheet kind of options. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, their costs. The total costs uh, is the last one, which includes shipping. And they said if we order before the end of the month, uh, we get a 5% discount. Uh, so that's with the 5% discount. Um, our, our budget is 20000 so it's very close. Uh, number one is very similar to what we put up on Main Street. So administration is kind of saying maybe lean away from that one. Well, I like five myself. I don't like Actually, I, I don't like uh, three or four. I like five as well. Paul, what do you think? <laughs> I don't mind five. Variety. Variety is good. Okay. I like three. Four. I like four and five myself. Four is kind of classic. Yeah. But it looks like what Grimshaw and then I have one after me. You don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go to them to during winter. <laughs> the ones they have along their highway there. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, Joe, what's your thoughts? Number five. Okay, Joe? Five can be used for almost the whole winter season. And that's one of the reasons why I like it, because it's a wintertime theme, not Christmas time. And if, if, I, if I just want to make clear, if I did make it clear in the uh, RFD, that'll be on the sidewalk side of the pole because there will be a banner on the street side. Okay. And the banner will be an eight foot banner. Okay. So, someone want to make a motion on this? We do have it in our budget. I'll make a motion okay. for five. Okay, Joe's moving item five. Any more discussion? All in favor? In favor. Opposed? <laughs> you, uh, you didn't ask for it to be recorded, so no. And it's carried. <laughs> hey, if you notice, it matches your shirt. <laughs> That's the reason why we chose it. Okay, moving on to 7.3, outdoor event application, Fairview Fall Festival, request for road closure of 108th Street and 103rd Avenue. This was done last year too, wasn't it? Yes, it is the same event. You have your hand up? Good. I'll make a motion to approve it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Paul's moving it. All in favor? And that's carried. Favor. Thank you. Okay, moving on, uh, there's no finance, no, no bylaws agreements, no developments. Moving on to item 11, correspondence, 11.1. NBA Fairview number 136, Fairview Public Library, possible relocation. I just want to provide that for information to the council. And I'll move that we accept it for information. I don't think anything needs to be done about it. Okay, all in favor? And that is carried. Moving on to 11.2, MDF Fairview number 136, stakeholder notification for the MD Fairview Municipal Development Plan. Are they asking all of council to do the survey, or is it asking you to do the survey, or is the town to do the survey? I think, I think it's just a general request. I, I have done it. Um, so I think it, it's very very thorough. Um, it does ask at the beginning uh, whether you're a, a MD or town resident before you proceed. Uh, it's pretty specific to being a MD resident. Um, yeah, you, you took it as well. Yeah, I mean we are MD residents. It's pretty. It's pretty geared to be an MD resident. But, uh, yeah. So I mean, because they're doing the MDP, MMSA has been contracted to do this for them, uh, and so they did with. It. Like I said, it's, it's very thorough. Uh, so we're going to ask the council to do it or as uh, administration to do it on behalf of the town? 
don't know. I don't it's, know. it's just, I have no idea. I think you're just letting everybody know that it's available. Yeah. Any more discussion on this? I'll move for information. Okay. All in favor? That's favor. Good. That's carried. Uh, there's no discussion and delegation. Moving on to item 13, conventions, conferences, workshops. 13.1, Alberta Municipalities Convention. Everybody got their information from Charity? Yep. And uh, rooms are a little bit cheaper than Calgary, which is nice. Oh, <laughs> kid. For the price of one. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we can stay on there? Uh, no, because you're already booked. Much questions, and I think it's us. You're going. I'm going. Chris is going. And Joanne. And Joanne. Okay. You might not like it in September. Oh, but not 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 that not that golf course. No. Leaves everywhere. Leaves everywhere. You don't. You hit a ball that's not fair. Even if you hit on the fairway. You'll have a tough time finding it because we golfed it last year and that did. you have all sorts of issues probably. It's just an additional <laughs> hazard. Yeah. I was only down the middle, straight down yeah. the middle golf. Yeah. I'm not like you. I love that golf. <laughs> yep, no, we're sure he's got it all sort of already. We're <coughs> all right, we'll move on to item fourteen, information items fourteen point one North or Peace Country Beef Forge Association ninth annual field day at the Fairview Research Firm. Just for information, I'm assuming. All in favor? Yeah. 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 All favor? And that's carried. Moving on to item 15, closed session. Somebody wish to move this to close the bell. Yeah. All in favor? Yeah. Carried. Okay, good night, good night uh, Pavel. Good night. <laughs>